How we doing, Heat fans? Your boy Ernest here, back with the Miami Heat Talk video. Happy Friday, you guys. The weekend is upon us. If you had a bad week, shake it off. Move forward. Embrace and enjoy the moment, you guys. Why? Because off we go on another Miami Heat Talk adventure. Now, look, guys, uh, there's really not a lot to talk about. Uh, no real huge updates. Nothing's changing. Um, but I want to address a few things that I'm seeing, not only in Twitter, but also on YouTube and uh, reports as well. So there was a report that came out today that the Portland Trail Blazers are looking to possibly convince Damian Lillard to stay with the Portland Trail Blazers. That's one of the reasons why this is dragging on for a little bit. Now, this was actually reported by Anthony Chang. He is a Miami Heat insider. Um, I'm going to say this because I know a lot of people are probably going to get scared with that. They're going to get nervous. And uh, this may change some people's perspective. I'm going to let you all know something right now. I could wipe my ass with that report. I don't believe it. I don't buy it for a second. It makes no sense. Why would the Portland Trail Blazers intend to keep Damian Lillard when they have Scoot Henderson, Shaden Sharp, and Anthony Simons? Anthony Simons, by the way, who they gave four years $100 million to. You're not going to give $100 million to a guy that's going to play 10 to 15 minutes a game. That's stupid. Guys, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Don't believe these reports. Don't fall for this crap. Don't fall for what Woj says. Damian Lillard will be traded to the Miami Heat. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Now look, it may take some time. Portland's playing hardball. They want Miami to give their best offer, but Miami's not going to basically compete against themselves. There's no real offers. We've talked about all this before. If you haven't, if you don't, if you haven't heard it, if you don't remember, go back to previous videos. I've been breaking this down for two and a half weeks, you guys. But at the end of the day, Miami is staying strong with the offer that they're giving. Tyler Hero, multiple first round draft picks, a filler like Kyle Lowry or Duncan Robinson, and maybe a young piece like Jovich, Highsmith, or Hawkins. That's it. Miami's not going to go all in because they don't have to. Nobody else is competing against them. For all the haters that are going to be in my comments and talk all that bullshit, I don't even want to listen anymore. You're wrong. The reports are facts. And if you don't like it, go take that negativity somewhere else because you're not wanted here. That's just the facts, you guys. I'm tired of dealing and repeating myself over and over again. If you see it in the comments, some of these people repeat themselves over and over, saying the same things all the time. Damian Lillard, in my opinion, will be traded. Am I an insider? Do I work for the Heat? No. This is my opinion. But the great thing about this country is there's something called freedom of speech. And one thing this country doesn't protect is sensitive idiots. So if you have a problem with that, Go complain. Nobody cares about what you have to say. It's just the facts. Now, look, something else was reported, you guys, and I got to mention it. Um, I'm seeing a lot of heat videos talking about this possible Lori Markkinen trade. It was a rumor that Bleacher Report reported two days ago. They said that a possible heat trade, uh, Miami heat trade with Utah would be Lori Markkinen for Duncan Robinson and two for, uh, future first round draft picks with Jaime Hawkins as well. People are going to post nonsensical crap until this Damian Lillard trade is done. Everybody's going to do what they can for clickbaits. I'm not doing that. I mean, I guess so because I'm talking about it. But I'm here to be real with you guys. Who is the president of Utah? Danny Ainge. Danny Ainge and Pat Riley do not like each other. Do you think for a second? That Danny Ainge is going to send an all-star like Lori Markkinen to the Miami Heat to help the Heat? I don't think so. Let's not forget, you guys, Danny Ainge was the president of the Boston Celtics during the Big Three era. Excuse me. There's a rivalry there. I don't think Danny, Danny Ainge is going to want to help the Miami Heat win a championship. Now, that's my opinion. You know, you're seeing what Danny Ainge has been doing. He's been trading for a lot of draft picks, building for the future. But Laurie Markkinen just became an all-star. Utah can build around Laurie Markkinen. 
Um, I don't understand why they would trade him. It doesn't make any sense. And in my opinion, it's just clickbait. It doesn't make it, it, it doesn't matter. All these people that are coming out talking about Joel Embiid, Lori Markin into the Miami Heat, it's all crap. There's one goal. One goal. Damian Mother Lillard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start watching my language, guys. Sorry. But Damian Lillard is the goal, is the prize. And right now the Heat are just patiently waiting. Whether that goes into training camp. Whether that goes further to training camp, the Heat will still be patient, okay? That's what Miami's all about, you guys. Sometimes you have to be patient, and sometimes you have to know when to strike. Right now, the Heat are being patient. Does it suck? Yes. Is it annoying? Obviously. Do you want this trade to get happen? Sure. But do any of our opinions matter? No! I really don't give a shit about what Heat fans want. It's about what's the right decision for the Heat. If we can make this trade for Damian Lillard without having to give up Nikola Jovic or Jaime Hawkins, I swear to God, once that trade is made, ESPN and everybody's going to be kissing Miami's ass, talking about what a great G President Pat Riley is for not doing that. So that's why we're being patient. Because the media's opinion, the media's perspective means nothing. Miami will not allow themselves to compete against themselves just because ESPN is saying that Portland may keep Damian Lillard or that there may be other suitors because there's not. Damian Lillard has requested to go specifically to the Heat. I've talked about why he'd be a perfect fit there. If you don't remember, go back to the previous videos and watch. And I'll tell you guys another reason why I am like, 95% sure this trade is going to happen. I'll never say 100% because in the NBA, you never know. Jimmy Butler was in China, y'all. Now, I know people are going to be like, oh, it doesn't mean anything. But Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler, a damn troll. Him, I love him. I think him is the like most Miami Heat player Miami's ever had of all time. I know D-Wade's the king. I will never disrespect D-Wade. He is the king of the Miami Heat. This will always be Wade County. But this new culture regime that really started in 2017 with Udonis Haslam's team, Jimmy Butler is the most Miami Heat dog we've ever seen. And we've had some dogs on this team. James Johnson, UD, I mean, you could say Shane Batty, you could, you could say a lot of guys. I mean, the two guys that come up to mind is Udonis Haslam and James Johnson since the 2017 season. I'll pit Jimmy Butler right at that top of that list. I love Jimmy Butler on this team, but if y'all saw the trolling crap he was doing, it's hilarious. He's in China, made a big three-point shot, started doing the Dame Dollar Dame Time thing, started waving by like Damian Lillard did to Russell Westbrook in the playoffs. Damian Lillard is coming to the Miami Heat, you guys. Now, sure, does Jimmy Butler's trolling really specify that he's coming? Of course not. But I don't think Jimmy Butler would do that unless he knows something from the front office that we don't know. So guys, before you freak out, before you start saying, oh, this trade's not going to happen, don't believe the crap that you hear. It's not true. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody really knows what's going on. The only person whose opinion that I thought was credible was Dan Levitard when he said what he said on his show about Woj and about what I said earlier, how Miami's made the offer. Because Pat Riley has a close connection with Dan Levitard. Pat Riley is seeing what Adrian Wojnarowski is saying in ESPN. All the crap that's coming out of his mouth. So Pat Riley told what he told to Dan Levitard. And Dan Levitard said it on his show to basically tell Portland, F you, we know what you're trying to do. You know what the offer is. Take it. Not take it or leave it. Take it. Because you're not going to get a better one. So this may drag for a while, you guys. It's just the way it's going to be. So we need to stay patient, calm down, relax, and trust the process. And never, ever lose faith in the Godfather. Because when we do, whenever we've never you know, given full trust to Pat Riley, whenever we've doubted Pat Riley, you know, he shocks us. So I'm never going to lose faith in the Miami Heat. And also congratulations to Andy Ellsberg. He just got promoted to executive vice president for the Miami Heat. Well deserved. He's the best numbers guy in the NBA and he deserves that and more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about everything I said. Do you feel that this trade is not going to happen because of the report that came out today or maybe because how long this is going? What do you think about that Lori Markin rumor? 
Do you think it's BS like I think, or do you think some there's some traction to it? And tell me what y'all think about Jimmy Butler trolling in China. Love that dude on this team. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Please hit the like button. Smash that subscribe button, you guys. We just hit 1,500. I love you guys. On the road to 2K. Uh, go ahead and share on social media, you guys. Tell your friends. Tell your family about this Miami Heat channel. Let's go ahead and boom this, you guys. Thank you so much for the love and support. And until next time, your boy Ernest out. That's enough said. Let's go Heat.